hi guys welcome back to my channel um, as you can see I'm in my car I hope the quality is looking a little bit better for you guys um, I bought a tripod that's specifically for the car so I'm hoping that it does not fall off my window right now I'm gonna go get a Starbucks and usually make my coffee at home but I ran out of espresso beans so it's a great excuse to go to Starbucks instead of going to the store and buying more espresso beans. Yesterday, I went to Starbucks because I ran out and I ordered a white mocha, which I usually, I've gotten plenty of times before. And I get it with soy milk, my ice, and um, this time I added extra caramel drizzle because um, everybody on TikTok gets that like white mocha with cold foam and extra caramel drizzle, but I don't drink too much dairy like that like I'll eat cheese and stuff but I don't know for some reason like with drinking milk it's like a little bit weird to me anyways I got that drink yesterday and it was so good I was like someone made this drink with love because that shit was fire I woke up this morning I was on TikTok everyone I know gets stuck on on TikTok scrolling through videos it's like my brain's like okay the next one I'll get off and then the next video is interesting I'm like okay the next one I'll get off and then it just happens like that for probably an hour my mom is supposed to help me make a rum cake later so hopefully she's still down to make that um, starting this week I will be finishing my certifications for construction project management I'm really excited to be so done with it because I literally graduated and then I was still doing those classes or these classes and then like I didn't really have a break and I never really got to enjoy like graduating and being done with school so I'm about to be officially done with my schooling for now and I don't plan on taking any school or learning for at least maybe like a month or two I need off like I want to take um, Spanish and sign language because um, like at community college or something or maybe even online I'm not sure because I know Spanish but it's not that great but it's so funny because when I'm drunk or like buzzed I start talking in complete Spanish and it's like that's how people know that I'm drunk and I think it's hilarious that when I'm sober I have a hard time remembering my Spanish vocabulary but for some reason the Latina in me comes out when I'm drinking I don't know maybe it's the tequila oh, I want to take a Spanish class so that I could be more fluent also with sign language I took sign language in high school I did four years and I freaking love sign language before I was like so fluent like I could just be like da -da -da -da, like say whatever and now it's like I'm a little slower so I don't like that so that's why I want to take a refresher course I don't know when I'm gonna do it so we'll see I'm really excited for the holidays like even though I know my last video I'm sorry if that was a downer by the way I haven't been in the best like headspace mentally but this past week I've really been trying to like get myself out of it and I think it's been working because even this morning I woke up and I was kind of like sad and like I didn't really want to do anything and that's obviously also why I went on TikTok because I don't know about you guys but like TikTok and like Instagram or like like just watching videos of other people just helps me distract myself from what I'm going through because I'm more focused on like whatever's going on in the video so then this one video ended up popping up it was like something about 555 like your life's gonna change and it made me so happy because yesterday I was on TikTok and but in the TikTok video where you could put the effects of like the angel numbers or whatever. I ended up getting 555 on there. So then when I was actually on TikTok and I was scrolling this morning and I was all sad, seeing another video of 555 pop up, I was like, okay, like I just need to like keep being positive and like pull myself out of it and like try not to be sad all the time. When I woke up sad, I was honestly just gonna throw it like away as I usually do. Like I'm just gonna stay in bed and do nothing and watch TV but I know that by the end of today I would have felt so down on myself because I didn't get what I wanted to get done done little steps baby steps yesterday I cleaned my car like the inside and outside and I hate cleaning my car you guys like I just feel like it's so annoying it's a waste of time 
and I just wish that I was rich enough to just pay someone to come to my house and do it for me. It's just something that I, I would be fine never having to do again. But the feeling after is amazing. Like when you have a clean car, it just feels like a brand new, brand new start. I also got some new makeup from Ulta the other day. I think it was last weekend. My skin has been acting up. It's been acting a damn fool. I don't know what's going on. I think it, it could be just my emotions because I'm always stressed and stuff. And you know, like that's obviously not good for your skin. I am so jealous of the girls that have the smoothest skin and they don't have one mark of discoloration. I'm like, can I please just be you? Because I would never wear foundation. I would just do my eyebrows and my eyeshadow and eyeliner and that's it need to be appreciative because in high school my skin was really really bad even after high school for a little bit it was really really bad till 2020 it started getting a little bit better and now it's more manageable it still has its moments finally leaving the Starbucks line does anybody think drive throughs take forever but you know what it's worth it because it's the experience that matters because whenever I walk into a Starbucks and get my coffee, I just don't feel the same. Here's my drink. I'm really excited. I hope it tastes the same as yesterday. No, it doesn't taste the same as yesterday. But it's still good, it's just... It's still good. It's just not as good as it was yesterday. My mom called me right now. She said she's ready to make the cake. So we're gonna go and make a rum cake. I feel like a lot of people have never had a rum cake because when I pe tell people like, oh yeah, have you guys ever had rum cake? Like, or when I ask people like, oh, what's your favorite cake? And they're like, oh, what's mine? I'm like, rum cake is like one of my favorite cakes. And they're like, rum cake. And I'm like, yeah, y'all never had rum cake before. I didn't know it was this unusual, but yeah, I grew up with my mom making rum cake and my mom has the firest recipe. Like my tias on my dad's side and my parents are not together. Ask my mom for her recipe. That's how you know it's fire. But we shall listen to some music now. This is a, a recipe that I don't share with anybody. Very few people know. And where'd you get recipe. this recipe from? It was given to me. My mom said the cupcakes are done. So wait, let me show them for a second. So this is the topping or like glaze that goes on top of the cupcakes. So you don't put frosting and stuff like that. The, the other ones are done over there on the table. Mm, I love the rum. My friend wants to hang out, so I'm probably gonna hang out with her for a little bit. I wanna film some TikToks, so I wanna do my makeup. And like I said earlier, I got hella products, or not hella, but I got a lot of new products from Ulta, so why not show you guys what I got? It's like my shirt. It's Edward Scissorhands. It's an extra large. Um, I got it from Ross yesterday, and I was like, oh my god, I have to get this. But they didn't have my size, so that's why. I just ended up getting the extra large and I was like, I'll just wear it as a pajama shirt, but this is so cute. So from Ulta, the first thing I got was the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I got this because hyaluronic acid is supposed to be good for moisture retention. So I got this because I wanted to try it so that my face can be moisturized and I'm not a dry bitch. The next thing I got was a restock um, of my Morphe eyebrow pencil. This is the micro eyebrow pencil, not the... There's one that's like has a little bit of a thicker tip. This one is the like thinner one. The thing I got was a restock of my LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. I have bought this one other time and I ran out and I just didn't repurchase it because I tried a new one. I tried the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. 
but to be honest i don't know if i like it that much because i mean it does blur your pores but it's really kind of like oily and i feel like my makeup just slips kind of quick and this one's just it smooths it and there is no oil no no grease no nothing so that's why I got a restock on this one. And the next thing I got is also a restock. This is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This one is SPF 50, anti-aging, hydrating serum, full coverage, color correction. And I have this already in a lighter shade, but that shade is really, really light on me. And their shade range expanded a little bit. It's still not the best. Like, I don't even know if this is going to be my exact shade. I tried a little bit of it on my hand and it, it looked pretty close to the shade of my arm. So I'm hoping that on my face it will look good. The next thing I got was this e.l.f. 16 hour, um, this one's the matte full coverage concealer. I already have the hydrating one and honestly I like the shade of it but I don't like that around my smile lines it creases quickly. So I wanted to try, and like under my eyes it kind of creases too, so I wanted to try the matte one to see if it creases less. The next thing I got was two lip liners. They are both by NYX. They are the NYX suede lip liners. Okay, yeah, these are the shades. Um, one of them's brown, and the shade is sandstorm and then the other one's like a nude and it's called dainty days and then i got some lip glosses the lip glosses i got was the nyx butter gloss this one is in the shade fortune cookie and um i've tried other nyx butter glosses and i really like them so i'm hoping that i'll like this shade and hopefully it goes good with the um the lip liners i got this one because it has no glitter in it and then i got this essence extra shine volume lip gloss this one is in the shade Gold Dust. I thought if I don't want to use the No Shimmer lip gloss, then I can use this lip gloss. And then I've also really been into like a really pretty like foundation and base with eyelashes and then with like a pink lip, like sparkly lip, so pretty. Uh, yeah, so there's this Revlon lip gloss. This is in the shade Lean In. Hoping that this one will be really pretty for when I want to do like a pink lip. I love this headband because it literally keeps all my hair out of my face when I'm doing my makeup. I'm going to put my contacts in. You guys, I really hope I'm going to make an appointment soon with an eye doctor um, or optometrist. And I'm going to hope that they approve me to get LASIK surgery or laser. I don't know if it's LASIK or laser, but um, I really want to get eye surgery. So that I can never have to wear glasses or contacts again. So the first thing let's try out is this hyaluronic acid. I hope you can put it on dry skin. I don't know if you're supposed to put it like on when you get out of the shower or something. I'm just going to take a little bit on my fingers and rub it into the skin. Also, my eyebrows are looking a mess. I've been trying to let them grow out because... I want the shape to go back to how it used to be. So I'm also going to try this technique that I saw this girl do on TikTok, I believe. She put primer on and then she powdered her face and then she used the spray. I'm going to use the LA Pro Prep um, primer and I'm just going to take like that much for right now. I'm gonna take the Cody Airspun powder. I do like this powder. It does have talc in it, so that's unfortunate, but it does work really well. This one is in the shade Naturally Neutral, which I like better than the um, translucent full coverage or whatever it's called, because I tried that one too and I did not like how it changed the shade of my um, foundation. But I'm gonna apply with my dry beauty blender this all over my face but i learned to try this method through this girl on tiktok and she says her makeup is like sweat proof budge proof like it looks flawless all day long it doesn't move and i'm like okay you sold me i think the next thing she did was spray her face so okay let me do my eyebrows really quick this is the Morphe eyebrow pencil. 
Um, this is the one that I've had open already. I always do eyebrows before foundation because I don't like when the foundation goes over my eyebrows and like makes them even lighter. And then when I do my eyebrows, they kind of like have a different color to them. So that's why I do my eyebrows first. And I feel like it's easier to clean them up too when you do them before doing your foundation. Because you could use your foundation to like fix them. I'm going to take the e.l.f. hydrating um, concealer on the back of my hand because I do like how this um, looks for concealing my eyebrows and because this one is lighter and I want my eyebrows, I don't want them highlighted. I want them the same shade as my face. So that's why I'm going to use this one. I basically just keep going back and forth with like carving out my eyebrows until I like how they're carved. Now I'm gonna blend these out. I'm gonna try this concealer. I'm gonna put it underneath the eyeballs. Mm, I'll put it down my nose right here. I never ever put concealer or like bright like highlight on my forehead. My forehead's already big enough. It's big enough. Now I'm gonna try the uh, it Cosmetics CC Cream and I'm gonna pump some on my finger and just kind of swipe it on my skin. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna use this for underneath my eyes and then for the rest of my face, I think I'm gonna use a brush. Oh my goodness, it does look good. What the fuck? Hold on, let me not speak too soon. Let me not, let's not speak too soon. Right now, in the mirror though, it's looking super smooth, which is what the girl said too. That was what she said that sold me too. She was like, your skin's gonna look airbrushed. And right now, dude, it looks fucking good. For cream contour, I use this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick. It's in the shade Toffee. And I just... You know, cream contour. Um, I'll put some on my eyelid too. This will be my shade for my eyes. And then I'm gonna blend that out with this Real Techniques brush. Now we are going to spray the face again because that was the next step in the video I seen and then we're gonna basically just set everything again. And she said to go over your face with the sponge. The first thing I'm gonna do is go in with some contour. I'm gonna take my Lorac Pro contour kit and this is an elf brush as well um, I'm just gonna take the light contour shade oh, I like I have hair on me. and put on some contour I'm gonna just take whatever's on the brush and do it right here. With my under eyes, she said to put some bake, bake your eyes, but immediately use a shade that's like your color and um, use it to like blend out the bake. So we're gonna bake. And I'm gonna do this actually right here too. Hurry up, make that shit straight. Like that. Like that. Okay. And then immediately go in with a color that's more your skin tone. This one's the L'Oreal Infallible in the shade 180 Linen. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is I've never used so much powder in my life. When doing my makeup, 
but if this works it's gonna be my new best friend we're gonna go in with some blush and I forgot to show you guys this because I didn't get it at Ulta but I got this new blush from like a discount store like just some random discount store I found this pink blush and I don't have a blush that's this light and pink so I'm hoping that this will be super cute and it was only like a dollar something I think I put a little too much on this side I got too excited but it's okay it'll blend and then now we're gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with my Tartiste Pro Glow Palette and I'm going to highlight my face. But before I do that, I'm going to set my face one last time. And then while that's drying, I'm going to go in with highlight. I'm going to put some also on my inner corner. Right here with some eyeliner I finished cleaning up my eyeliner and this is how it turned out I ended up putting on some mascara real quick too for the top I used L'Oreal voluminous blackest black mascara and then for the bottom I just used um, this Maybelline great lash uh, waterproof mascara because my eyes always smudge and it like makes my like my makeup run and it's like starts to get all black underneath so i got this waterproof one and it's been working pretty well for lips let's go in with this nyx suede matte lip liner mm -mm 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 -mm. i really like this color so there's that I think we should try the Essence Shimmery Lip Gloss. Oh my god. Where have you been all my life? Now we gotta figure out what we're doing with the hair. I don't know if I should, um... I feel like I could look like a boy. I look a little bit like a boy. What do I do to not look like a man? I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair and put on a different outfit or something and I'm gonna let my camera battery charge because it's literally like blinking right at me. Okay, see you in a minute. Hi guys, um, so I'm back. Ended up putting on this shirt. I don't know how to show you guys. I got it from Ross. It's super cute, it's like a crop top. Um, and then the sleeves are like see-through right now. I'm going to go meet my friend We're gonna go eat but I won't record too much because my friend is pretty private and like doesn't really like do social media or anything like that okay, So now that we're in natural lighting, how do you guys think my makeup came out? Do you like it? I feel like it actually does look super smooth like usually I get crease lines on my it's like right here my smile lines super quick like I'll get them like as soon as my makeup's done. I already have it Okay guys, so don't hate me because the last clip I'm pretty sure was me in the car after we went to Ross and we walked around and we're just like looking at everything. But I got this hat. You guys, I know, I know I might be like crazy or something for getting this, but it is so freaking cute. Am I wrong? I just thought this was the cutest hat. I was like, should I really be getting this? Like, My mom always makes me feel bad for shopping, so I always second guess everything I'm buying. But yeah, so I ended up getting it because my friend and the cash register lady both said I should get it. So I was like, okay, if two people are telling me I should get it, then I should. And then I got this three pack of bras. It comes with a like cream color, a brown, like mauve color, and then a black. And I tried this one on, the brown one, in the dressing room, and it was so comfortable. 
it has no wire in it or anything and i hate bras with wire like my boobs aren't big enough anyways to need a bra with wire so i don't need them and they look really good and nice on my thighs. i got this like little button-up shirt i'll put it over this shirt so you guys can see and it's kind of like it's not cropped but it's a little bit shorter i mean i guess it is cropped it's i don't know it's not full length but it's really cute this would be like a good work shirt or if you're going to like dinner or something and then the last thing i got <laughs> you guys are gonna be like oh my god but i got these little like headband things and i love them because my friend she's actually the friend who bought me this headband i love this thing like it I can use it when I'm washing my face or when I don't want to get my hair wet in the shower I just throw my hair in like a bun and put that on or like just when I'm even just doing my makeup I just put it on so that it keeps my hair back and it's so comfortable like even if you just don't want your hair in your face like this thing is so comfortable and soft and cozy and it just like I don't know it's like a little bit compressed like it compresses your head a little bit it's like I have to get more so I got this one and it's the Paris Hilton ones six bucks for two so that's 350 each I guess I'm excited about my purchases today it is currently 917 so I have to get ready for bed because I want to start possibly editing this video so that I could get it up for you guys and I need to wash my makeup off and shower. Pretty much get ready for my morning tomorrow because I have to wake up early, drive to work, and get my day started. And then after work, I have to do homework. And I'm just glad that this is going to be my last week of homework, you guys. You don't know how relieving it is to be able to come home after a long day of work and just be able to relax and hang out with my animals. Like take my freaking dogs on a walk and not have to stress about I have to do homework or I have to go home and do this and get all this done and I have no time like I feel like I've been so time restricted that now I'm hoping I can finally just be at peace for once and not feel so like on the go and like I never have enough time for anything if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. You have no idea how much I appreciate you and how thankful I am for you. I hope you have a good rest of your night, your morning, whenever you're watching this video. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye!